Why do flowers never get lost on a field trip? Because they use the bud e system. Welcome to the stream. Happy Monday, my friends. Happy Monday, and thank you for being here with me. I hope you've had a great uh, weekend, and happy belated uh, Father's Day to those of you who are fathers or have fathers. <laughs> those of you who celebrate. Hope that you had a good one. And uh, let's say hello to everybody. Lucent Jelly is first in chat tonight. Thank you for being here, Jelly. Great to have you here, and best of luck with your editing. And Sparrow, welcome in, my friend. Happy to see you, Sparrow. I hope you're well. Here it comes. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that one was a... <laughs> hopefully that one was worth showing up early for. Pookie Stan, welcome in. Super C this time, huh? It's Super C it is. <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm uh, pretty much finished up with Contra. We completed all the uh, challenge runs. Just a, a recap for uh, anyone who may need it. We've done uh, we've done Contra Deathless three times. We did any percent. We did low percent, aka no items, and a hundred percent, aka all items. So I, I've done my three challenge runs. Uh, there's there's a little bit more that I want to do with Contra, but it's a little more casual. Um, this uh, Friday, I'm, I have tentatively planned to play Contra on the stream again. And we're just going to see how many loops I can do on one credit. Um, I have no specific goal in mind, but it'd be nice to have a, a solid, respectable number. Like, a, you know, five or six loops. And that'll just be... Uh, this be an experiment, sort of a victory lap, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it won't be too awful. I don't know, the last time I planned on doing extra loops in a video game, actually every time I've planned on doing extra loops in a video game, it's been really rough. Like, Castlevania Loop 2 is a nightmare. That was, that was really hard. And Ghosts and Goblins Loop 3 was so hard I couldn't finish it. <laughs> Sparrow says, I needed a moment to finish my long sigh after that joke. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, we've got uh, we've got two we've got two uh, challenge runs to complete in Super C yet. We need a uh, deathless low percent and deathless hundred percent. Not even worried about hundred percent yet. We're only doing the no items run right now. So we're gonna do a couple runs through Contra, or uh, sorry, through Super C. Which I actually like better than Contra. And I love Contra, but I really love Super C. <clears throat> but this uh, this low percent run is really hard. <laughs> so we're going to do a couple runs. It's been a while since I played it, so they probably won't be very great runs. This is just sort of a de-rusting night, I guess. And then we're going to switch over to Pikmin 2. And that's why we're feeling blue tonight. And that's feeling blue with an exclamation point. We're excited because I just unlocked the blue Pikmin last time. We haven't done anything with them. We just uh, we just unlocked them, so I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to go on some adventures with our uh, with our blue buddies. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, Jelly's Jelly's been editing her uh, her next video is kind of big though, so it it might take a it might take a couple weeks um, for her to get through it. But yeah, she's been uh, she's been working on her next video. I won't give too much away, but I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I think I am allowed to drop this spoiler. I don't know when it's ever going to show up on her channel, but I know that Jelly has completed a game. <laughs> there, I know that there now exists footage of Jelly finishing a game. <laughs> Which isn't really what her channel has been about. It's been more just about sort of like first impressions of games and sort of the, the process of figuring stuff out. But uh, somewhere far down the pipeline, there actually is a video where she will complete, where she will complete the game she's playing. 
It'll probably happen. It'll probably happen, you know. It'll probably happen every now and then, too. It'll be worth the wait. I am definitely a fan. All right, so let's uh, let's start a run. Um, I'm not even gonna run the timer uh, because I expect it to be a little rough. Um, as long as I as long as I survive all the way through level one, I'm not gonna reset uh, this run. But I, I could easily die on level one. <laughs> it's been a while. The uh, the victory reels for uh, for Contra, the, uh, the the unpublished ones. There are links in the Discord now. If someone, if anyone is interested in taking a look at them, if you weren't here and you'd like to. Uh, you'd like to watch the winning runs, they're available uh, through the links in the Discord now. I think that, uh, I think that trophy icon is a, is a good luck charm for me because, uh, because I had the trophy icon on the screen During both of those, uh, during both of those runs, just by coincidence. Whoa! <laughs> that bullet could not have been any closer to me. Hey, thank you for the trophy, Sparrow. The stream title—it's it actually wasn't in reference to my T-shirt. It's in reference to Pikmin. We've uh, uh, last time I played at the very end of the at the very end of the session we unlocked blue Pikmin so we're gonna be playing with the uh, we're gonna be playing with the blue Pikmin tonight. <laughs> That's why there's an exclamation point. We're excited about feeling blue. I thought I thought people would I thought people would probably misunderstand the title, but I liked it too much. <laughs> Not that it's super clever or anything. cautiously. There's no reason to take risks. No, I failed. Oh, I spawned a power-up. Gross. Oh, and it's the spread gun. My dearest friend is now my worst enemy. On a no items run, <laughs> on a no items run, spawning a power up is a failure condition for me. Whoa! Ah, oh, well, now we're dead. So now we've uh, now we've failed in every way possible. That's all right. It's just the warm up run.
Um, it's weird because I remember the first Contra a lot, but I barely played this. I think it's because they reduced the lives you get using the Konami code, so the first one is just a lot more accessible. I didn't know that. But yeah, that would definitely that would definitely be trouble because I think this one is uh, I don't know. I think this one is probably harder overall than the first Contra. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I never fight from here. <laughs> hey, it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think using a, I think using an exclamation point, using an exclamation point at a, at a legitimate expression at the end of a legitimate expression of feeling down is would be a, would be a very weird move. Whoa, I don't know why I'm alive. That bullet hit me. The game just got robbed. That guy is not weak in the top. No. Christopher, my best friend, good to see you again. Welcome in. Do you remember me? It's been a while. It's been a. It's been a. It's been a. It's been a good long time. Oh no! Oh no! I jumped. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, we're gonna have to, there's a very good chance we're gonna have to suffer the uh, humiliation of the game over screen. The embarrassment. If this game had come out on the SNES, would it have been called Super Super C? <laughs> Super squared C. People, uh, people get confused about this um, because it, it's called Super C on the 
NES, but I believe in the arcade it was called Super. It was actually called Super Contra. And so people will call Super C Super Contra, but people also call Contra Three Super Contra since it's on the Super NES. And then no one knows what game anyone's talking about. <laughs> It's just like Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins is the worst. As I'm never sure, whenever I'm talking about the series with someone, and I'm talking about, you know, Ghouls and Ghosts and Super Ghouls and Ghosts, I'm never sure that the person I'm talking with is thinking of the right game, because... Because people get, get really confused between them, since they're all titled so similarly, so similarly, and so slightly differently. Ah, uh, uh, that's unfortunate. That bubble, that bubble hit really hurt. Will the double super cancel out? Whoop. And the game title would have just been a super minimalistic C. A super minimalistic? Maybe a regular minimalistic if the super's been cancelled out. Uh, it's awesome how cheap you can get them on the Contra Anniversary Collection. Yeah, I know. I d actually don't have that yet myself, but I'm, uh... I've got it on my wish list. I'm, I'm planning on picking it up because I want to play the, uh, I want to play the arcade versions. Yeah, especially when it's on sale for like five dollars, I know. Ah, uh, no. No, we saw the game over. My poor eyes. Ghouls and goblins and ghosts, yeah. The double super only cancels out if you divide by super, Pookie says. Uh, I was never good at math. <laughs> Sparrow said the same thing. <laughs> uh. I fall behind on the chat and I just end up repeating stuff people have already written. <laughs> That's actually, um, if, uh, if I'm, uh, if I'm being honest, that, that, that's, uh, actually kind of a lie. Well, I'm, I'm not, definitely not good at math now, but I used to be very good at math. Math is a very, like, uh, math is a very use it or lose it kind of thing for me. When I was in school, I was always really good at math, but I would forget everything I learned very quickly. Uh, and those sort of like, uh, I don't know, higher level math classes, I could always remember, I could always remember what I needed to, to know well enough to, uh, 
to do well on the test, and then it would all immediately go away. We must be cut from the same cloth. That's some uh, that's some high praise. I don't know if you want to compliment me like that, Sparrow. <laughs> oh no! Welcome in, cows. Great to see you. I hope you had a good weekend. This is so bad. Level four, uh, level four is definitely the hardest uh, overall level. A lot of the other levels have like one thing about them that makes them hard, but level four is a whole lot of things about it that make it hard. <laughs> I'm doing really terrible. Level five, the boss is real hard. Level six has the uh, the hallways with the mouths and the side projectiles. Level 7 has the scorpion eggs. And level 8 has the descending ceiling hallway. And all of those things are nightmares. But this whole elevator section and the boss are pretty rough here. I have a lot more trouble with this boss than I feel like I should though. <laughs> 
Some of these lasers just have so much health. Buddha fingers, good to see you. <laughs> I heard that cows auditioned for the Lion King this weekend. Apparently they tried out to be Mufasa. <laughs> oh my. <sighs> oh, good to see you, Buddha fingers. Thank you for that. Uh, Buddha Fingers, what is the what is the NES game you keep telling me you want me to play? Is it Solstice or Crystallis? Or neither? I've 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 forgotten which I've forgotten which game it was. Look at that! I ran completely out of lives. That's rough. Chrysalis. All right, we still won't, uh, we probably won't get to it for uh, for a couple uh, for a couple weeks, but I I written myself a note here. And uh, I think I'd like to put it I think I'd like to put it on the schedule when I finish up one or two of the things I'm working on. Maybe after we finish Pikmin. All right, I didn't even make it through the game. I confuse Chrysalis and Solstice in my mind because I got them around the same time.
We got it. We got it. I got the helicopter before it went off screen. That's so rare. Hope you like it. I, uh, I have high hopes. I've been, uh, I was trimming down, uh, I was trimming down Fazanadu VODs, and it made me think I, uh, made me think that I want to play another, uh, less well-known NES game again. That, that, uh, Fazanadu came out so promising. Came out so well, it was such a good time. Oh, Itty, welcome in. Happy Monday, Itty, and Mega Man. Do you want standard Mega Man or Mega Man 1 box art Mega Man? There's two options. <laughs> right on. That's my favorite. <laughs> I kind of thought you would go with the other one for the because just for the sake of variety, but I'm not gonna complain. I love the box art Mega Man. Oh, he's wonderful. <laughs> Had to do it with Contra, it works well. No, I spawned that same power up. Ah. Konami, why'd you have to make the spread gun so convenient to get? No, I spawned another one. So for the for the no items run, just again for anyone who may not know, I'm so upset because uh for me, opening an item container is a failure condition. <laughs> it's basically a, it's basically the same as if I die. If Mega Man came out on the Mega Drive, would it have just been called Man? <laughs> It'd be called Mega Mega Man. Just like a uh, Turrican, right? There's Super Turrican and Mega Turrican. I wish they'd done that with more, um... I wish they'd done that with more Genesis titles. It's like there's Super Smash TV on the SNES. I think they should have called it Mega Smash TV on the Genesis. Ultra Mega Man. I don't know. There's a there's a parallel dimension out there, right? Where uh, this Nintendo 64 was called the Ultra Nintendo. And 
time. Instead of Super Mario 64, they've got Ultra Mario World. If it's a collection, is it Mega Man? <laughs> the Mega Man Anniversary Collection? <laughs> A collection of Mega Man games would be Mega Man's. <laughs> You're referencing a show. I guess I uh, didn't get it. Uber Ultra Mega Man. <laughs> Uber Ultra Mega Mega Man. Oh, I'm dead. When you make a mistake, you you're stuck with it. I tried I tried jumping off that falling falling land, it wouldn't work. Sparrow. <laughs> uh. See so if level four pulverizes me again.
I have the positions of some of these enemies more or less memorized. But not perfectly. really important to take out these guns. It's good that you can jump up and fire downward in this game. I don't remember what I was playing, but I was playing something recently where that was not possible. And uh, I was finding it very irritating. This have a very different feeling than the other con chairs that mostly you're just not familiar with the enemy layout. Um, now, it feels very similar, uh, Pookie. It's very similar to the other ones, just I haven't played it in a while. Muscle memory starts to fade after a while, you know. <laughs> I don't know what the best run I've had at the uh, the low percent um, is, but I know I've done a one CC a, a few times. And now that I'm not going to be swapping back and forth with uh, with Contra like I was doing before, um, I'm just going to be focusing focusing more on, on this one. Um, I think progress will come a lot more quickly. I made an error there, but I survived. That was a big mistake. This is my favorite boss. Yuck. Look, I was so close. I was so close. 
he got me like one, when he was one bullet away from death. That's sad. I think that boss is, uh, so far as I know, that boss is the least cheesable in the game. Remember those bubbles from the first game? Yeah. And then laser shower head. <laughs> this level is uh this level is uh is awful. This level is a uh, is a run killer. I just don't have any method for getting by these uh, mouths. It seems like they can spawn too close to you that you can't back away or react, so you just kind of have to get lucky. That was pretty good. We passed through there really cleanly. That is not often the case. This hallway is actually easier to pass through. I mean, I still die here a lot, but... Between the two, I'll take this one over the mouths any day. Boss is rather terrifying. The skull boss? From the, the, like, the skull airship? It is pretty spooky. See, most of the bosses in this, unfortunately, they're kind of disappointing because it's just. A lot of them are just a matter of just kind of staying in place and. You don't have to do a whole lot. That's why I like that skull ship boss is because it's very, uh, it's a very athletic fight. It's actually a fight and not just standing in place and cheesing the boss. <laughs> the first Contra has the same problem. A lot of the bosses are, are super cheesable. Like they're proud of having tried to eat me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever interpreted the mouths like that before, but now I'm probably not going to be able to see anything else. <laughs> it's an issue we all have to deal with in our everyday lives. I'm in the wrong channel. Uh, the bosses in this are a bit more gnarly. These scorpions. This part is the only part that might be worse than the mouths for, like, unpredictability. I got impatient.
It's no fun trying to dodge those, man. That's so tough. Oh. It's fun when you succeed. Where's my stamina? My hand's starting to hurt. <sighs> A can of Pringles. Assuming your character is a normal sized skull, it means the boss had human skulls ten times the size. <laughs> Feed them peanut butter. <laughs> Wouldn't that count as using an item, though? That's a death that didn't need to happen. I just uh, haven't been here in a while. <laughs> Wasn't thinking. This hallway here, I don't know. I don't know what at one at what point I'm gonna be able to do this without feeling like it's the most perilous situation I've ever been in, but I look forward to that day. <laughs> caught up in the with the chat once I get through this level we're not that far from the end and things are really scary right now just a minute my friends Easy boss. All right, that's it. Hey, we did it. I think we did it in one credit, too. I don't know how many lives we lost. I think three. I think I died three times. It wasn't that many if we've still got four extra lives on screen up there, but... All right. We have done it. 
Might be time for one more run, too. Um, <laughs> my logic, oh no. Um, all the mouths too busy endlessly licking the roof of their mouth to attack. That's rather disturbing. Uh, save the peanut butter for the PB and J sandwiches after you beat the game. 1cc, no items. Thank you, uh, thank, thank you for the nice itty. Thank you for the palms, cows. Um, do you feel like it's better to try to play video games with people or just enjoy them by yourself? I love games like this that are two-player co-op, but I feel like I've never really met anyone who's really into the same type of games as me. Um, that's, I don't know, it's a tough question. Um, I don't know that I've ever played a game like Contra. I don't know that I've ever played it two-player. I know, I know I've never played... I know I've never played these two players, but I don't know if I've ever played anything like it with two players, even. Um, Cause I'm a I'm a latecomer to the Contra games. I only I only played them for the first time at the end of last year, so I uh, I haven't had a wealth of experience with them. Um, I think beat 'em ups. I think beat 'em ups are better with another person. Um. Like um, Turtles in Time. I used to play that with my cousin when we were young. Um, and I think that's a much better experience with another player. Um, with a lot of like platformers and games like that though. Like, um, like your Mario Worlds or your Donkey Kong Countries. Like things like that. Um, I don't know. Because like... I used to play games like that with my uh, with my dad when I was little, and we had a great time. And I wouldn't and I wouldn't I wouldn't trade those times away. But now, now, like the thing is, if I play a game like that, I kind of want to play it single player because I feel more accomplished if I discover the secrets and stuff like that on my own, rather than. Uh, Rather than having half of them discovered by the other player. So. I don't know. Like Jelly and I both play games. But we don't play a whole lot at the same time. It's usually a case of a. Uh, it's usually a case of when she's playing a game, I'm usually not playing. I'm usually just sitting there watching. Local multiplayer is a pain, Pookie says. And yeah, a new Turtles game just came out and it's getting good reviews. Playing that online might be the ticket. Yeah, um, as long as the uh, as long as the online sort of infrastructure is good, because like I just always I just always come back to Mario Maker Two. Mario Maker Two has the most frustrating and disappointing online play. That like so much so that it kind of just like it it kind of ruins online play for me. <laughs> Because I now I just uh, I just always expect that same terrible experience. Um, Streets of Rage was a cool game to play with friends. You catch up with them and not have to pay too much attention to it. I think a lot of beat 'em ups like that too are like, I. Because cause the thing is, like, when you're doing them single player, a lot of times it's like there's just so many enemies. And you're just sitting there, you're just sitting there fighting the same enemies for, for hours. <laughs> like, you'll be, like, you know, it's one of those, like, the screen moves and then it locks and then enemies come in from the sides. And, like, two or three enemies come in and you fight all those and it takes, like, ten minutes and then two or three another wave comes in and it takes 10 more minutes and another wave comes in and it takes 10 more minutes and then finally you get to move like one inch down the street and the screen locks again and like it's just so much better when you have another person there to take out half of those enemies <laughs> but 
Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I don't think I've heard anything but good things about the uh, the new TMNT game. All right, let me reset. <clears throat> Streets of Rage 4 is very good. Same devs. That's what I've heard, yeah. Look at this i got a bowl of fruit sitting here. I haven't had a single bite. I don't really think there's a chance of a of a deathless run. I think I definitely need a bit more practice, but we're going to be optimistic and we're going to we're going to start the run with the timer with the timer going. Just run the timer up to the first death. Whoa. Oh, speaking of the first death, there it is. We we'll go ahead and hit reset. I think I should be able to make it through the first three levels on one life. I need a, I need a, a like a sword stand because this my 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 sword keeps falling over. Uh, the problem with classic throwback titles like that is your window of opportunity to play with others randomly is pretty small. TMNT probably has full groups playing it constantly right now, but in a few months down the line, it might be near impossible to get uh, six players at once. Yeah. I really liked that uh, that terrible, broken, buggy Friday the 13th game. <laughs> uh, I opened the first power-up. Like, that's the worst I could possibly fail. I really liked that game, but uh, unless it actually is Friday the 13th, no one's ever playing it. <laughs> Can only go up from here, that's true. Wanna get a good group together for TMNT? Yeah, I imagine I'm gonna imagine I'm gonna play it at some point. Seems like it could be a lot of fun, but uh, I'm not the I'm not the biggest uh, fan of uh, beat 'em up style games. It's sort of the thing that uh, 
It's sort of the thing that puts me not in a rush for it, but... It's probably a better idea to play it while everyone else is playing, while other people are still playing it. up. I'm measuring out my, uh, I'm measuring out my shots very carefully as I don't want to open any power-ups. Oh, I got lucky there. That green guy. He had ambitions of making me very sad. I'm just trying to, I'm sitting here, I'm imagining what it would be like to go through this game trying to accomplish a run where you don't waste any ammo. <laughs> like a 100% accuracy run. That would be a pretty horrible experience, I think. about a sentence into that message, Pookie. I'll catch up with you.
Cool. I don't, so I can get close to that thing and fight it, and fight it a little bit more quickly. But that capsule that's flying above now, like, if I get close to that thing and fight it, that capsule flies overhead while I'm trying to defend myself from the projectiles raining down on me, and I open it by accident. So I prefer the far away, slower, safer approach. Don't let the timer running fool you. Speed is not a priority. I don't like the pattern. I was getting in with the spider. fooled by those falling platforms last time. <laughs> Ever saw someone get so lucky. Good thing speed's not a priority, because I'm doing everything slow. Sorry to hear that, uh, Pookie. I wish you the, uh, the best of luck getting things turned around, of course.
It's really easy to open up uh, power ups on this level. made it pretty far. All right, kill the timer. Let's keep going. Whoa. All right. Anytime you can avoid dying to that boss, that's a good day. Oh, wow. I was expecting more ledges. I uh, I don't know. I lost track of where I was.
No. I didn't feel like I was doing a whole lot of damage to the boss. I was just spending more time on defense. Invert face cam, we can do that. No, I open a power up. Oh, F for failure. Very good level six, aside from that one power up. There's a lot of parts in the stage where the game tries to make you drop down on top of an enemy. And more often than not, it gets me. Right around here. It's really good at having an enemy come out on that right-hand side, just in time for you to land on him.
goodness. Area 8. It's hard to describe, but I had this really weird sensation for just a moment. Like I was, I felt suddenly like I was very, very far away from the television. I don't know. My mind is playing tricks on me. know what it is or what it would mean if it's just very odd because I, I sit very close to the tv i wish i didn't sit so close to it but uh the way things are set up the cords on my computer are not long enough to uh to allow me to sit as far back as i would prefer i'm dead <clears throat> come on This was so good up until stage 8. I had only died once. Now I've died three times. Unacceptable. I'm teleporting. <laughs> Cthulhu is paying me a visit. When the character jumps, there's like, well, at all times, there's a very subtle after image. I don't know if that's an effect of the television or if that's actually part of the game. It's so, it's so very subtle. I 
think that's an effect of the TV. I don't see it in the capture. All right, well, we did it. No items, one CC. The Deathless Run still eludes me. Um, I think we'll say that's enough Super C for today. Um, I got warmed back up. I had, uh, I mean, you know, a 1cc is nothing to be upset about. We got a couple, we got a couple. That second run was actually really good. Um, one death on stage four, two deaths on stage eight. One of the, one of those deaths was kind of nonsense though. <laughs> And it opened power up on stage six. So, four errors, but I only really feel bad about two of them. Not bad. So, we'll pick this back up again. I've got this, uh, I've got uh, more Super C on the schedule for Wednesday night. Um, there's a chance I might play it at the start of the stream tomorrow. I don't have it scheduled for tomorrow. Because um, I've got Smash TV for the uh, start of the stream tomorrow. Um, I really want to play some more of that. So um, that is definitely happening tomorrow. But if the stream starts up early or something, then I may do a little bit of Super C at the very start tomorrow. But probably just one run. Because I don't want to eat away time from uh, from Smash TV. But we're going to switch over now. We're going to go over to the, to the uh, Wii and we're gonna play some more of uh, Pikmin 2. That's why we're that's why we're feeling blue tonight. We've got blue Pikmin finally, and uh, we're gonna see how they uh, what uh, new areas they can unlock for us and what uh, magical things they can offer us. Pikmin time. <laughs> Cows is excited. I'm pretty excited too. I'm ready for some more Pikmin. It's been a it's been a few days now. So uh, thank you for enjoying Contra with me. And, uh, or, well, or Super C. <laughs> I'm going to continue to call it Contra, probably. But thank you for enjoying some Super C with me. Uh, I feel, uh, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty optimistic about the, uh, our chances for the Deathless run. Um, it still might be a couple weeks away, but it's, uh, it's feeling pot. Tonight, from tonight, uh, from the, from the vantage point of tonight, it feels possible. All the water adventures. That's what we're going to do. So, yeah, if you want to join me for some Pikmin 2, just stay on the line. I'm going to switch things over. Um, I'm not going to take a BRB. I'm just going to I'm just gonna step away from the camera and move, and move things around. So this should be a really quick switch. See you again in just a moment, my friends. <laughs> 